Well, here I am playing match against Jay. It's great to finally be back in Warzone, waiting for my chance to get back in the ring. Um, can't wait to see how this match goes and just always have a really fun time answering your question at a time as I do. Looking forward to it. Thanks. All right, Jay. I'm in the manager chair for you today. Ethan had to go up and, uh, I don't know, like send Guy Ritchie his next script or a cup of coffee, either one of those. But uh, how you feeling? Uh, well, knowing that he had to bury a feller, uh, you know what? I'm I'm completely uh, I'm ready to have a little bit of fun. It's always fun when I get to play against Kelly. Uh, it sucks that I. It seems like I have had to play against Kelly multiple times. Uh, and I Kelly, don't think I've got. I don't think I've gotten a better of her. Oh, uh, man, we like Kelly. So we like we Kelly. Wanna, yeah. So I one mean, of us. One of us. <laughs> one of us. Good luck, Kelly. Best of luck to you. Hopefully more luck to him. He said it, W. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Multiplex Movie Warzone. I'm your host, Caleb Lobo Boatman, and today we got a great match for you. Uh, we got Kelly Meehan versus Jay Byrne. Should be a fun match. Uh, both these competitors uh, looking for redemption after their first loss in Warzone. So should be interesting to see who can go one and one, get that first W. So... We're going to bring in our competitors. Round one is going to work like this. Eight different questions, eight different categories. You get all eight right, you get a bonus question. Three repeats and a challenge allowed to you throughout the entire match. Uh, so we will get started with your first question, which comes in the category of sci-fi fantasy. Who directed 1984's Dune? A very, very topical film. Uh, I still haven't seen uh, the new Dune. Um, or, I was going to uh, watch it tonight, but I had this match. I'm fair. pretty sure it's not that in Australia, so. Three. VPNs. One. Pens down. Let's go to Jake. I had David Lynch. And Kelly. David Lynch. David Lynch is correct. In your next question category, musicals. Danny Zuko, Sandy Olsen, and Betty Rizzo are main characters in what musical? Uh, these are musical characters. They sing. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Kelly. It is the word. Grace. And Jake. I had, to, I had to change. I had to, I had to spell check myself. <laughs> like, Grease is the word, and that is correct. We get into your third question in the category of comedies. In The Producers, what is the profession of Gene Wilder's character, Leo Bloom, before becoming a producer? Uh, when I initially wrote this question, I didn't have the before becoming a producer part. And someone was like, well, he's a producer. And I was like, oh, yeah, crap, you right. Five. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Jake. I had florist. And Kelly. Lawyer? That is incorrect. Looking for accountant. Ah, okay. Into your fourth question, category of action adventure. Who plays Evelyn Carnahan in 1999's The Mummy? Uh, this is a movie some people are obsessed with. And I think it is just okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Kelly. Rachel Weiss. And Jake. Rachel Weiss. Both correct. Your fourth question, or fifth question, excuse me, like in the category of crime. Zodiac primarily takes place in what city? Uh, shout out to Gary. <laughs> Five. Oh, you meant Indiana, not okay, not a person. Two. One. No, I didn't mean the person. Gary is the Zodiac killer. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, I said San Francisco. And Kelly. San Fran. Oh, San Francisco it is okay. So is correct. Uh, Gary is the real guy who was re recently revealed to be the Zodiac killer. That's not true. It's not Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz's dad's not. Ted Cruz isn't named Gary. 
You needed help getting that joke out, buddy. Uh, do. <laughs> sixth question in the category of scores and soundtracks. The Danny Elfman-led band Oingo Boingo performed the title song for what 1985 film? Uh, Oingo Boingo. That's a funny name. That rhymes. It's a band led by an elf man. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Jay. It's a nine to five. And Kelly. I said weird science. Weird science. Do, do, do. Is go pull, Kelly. Go pull. <clears throat> As we get into your pen ultimate question in the category of 90s, what political office is Jack Stanton running for in primary colors? Weird science, dude, dude, dude. That's going to be stuck in my head like the whole day now. Five. Good thing the day's almost over. Pens down. Let's go to Kelly. President. And Jake. I also said president. President is correct. Getting to your final question, is there are no perfect rounds in the category of Oscars? Name two of the three Oscars Rocky won. Rocky. Uh, Rocky Road is an ice cream flavor. Uh, Mid-tier ice cream flavor. There are better, but they're worse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Jake. Uh, original screenplay and best original song. And Kelly. Best picture and best original screenplay. Both incorrect. Uh, looking for best picture, best director, or best editing. Ooh, okay. So it is six to five, Kelly's lead, as we get into round two. Round two is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to get a chance to spin the wheel. They like to spin, they can keep it. They don't, they can spin again, but then they are stuck with it. They're going to get five questions in whatever category they get. They get it right, two points, multiple choice, one point, get it wrong. Other person gets a chance to steal. Categories on our wheel tonight are Jay Strengths of Adam Sandler Comedies and View Askew. Uh, Kelly's strengths of animation and pre-1970 Disney animation. We also have 2000s, action, adventure, mystery, thriller, and 90s. Uh, so, Kelly, you are in the lead. I'll bring in your manager because he is here now. Uh, would you like to uh, spin first or defer? Defer, Cody? Oh, oh Cody, you're muted. Uh. I'm not surprised at all. No one else should be. So guess what? Two things. One, Barr is managing JJ. You're in better shape if he wasn't your manager. Two, Kelly, it doesn't really matter what we spin. We know what we're probably going to get anyways. <laughs> but we're going to try. We're going to tempt fate for the second time. We're not going to spin first. He can. Okay. Enjoy your spinner's choice, Jay, because that's. <laughs> it's so nice to have Cody here. And your first. I said such nice things day. about him when he was here. And you land on your strength of Adam Sandler comedies. Would you like to keep I that? I mean, in Jay. It's your strength for a reason. Yeah, that's true. So I think uh, you should go with it. All right, I'll go with it. Okay. All right, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Now we'll give you your questions in the category of Adam Sandler comedies. In You Don't Mess with the Zohan, Mariah Carey performs at what kind of sporting event? And Jay, can we have your other hand on screen? Oh, it's it's right. It's it's okay. right here. You're like. Good. Um, I'm going to be mad at myself. Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, cricket, B, horseshoes, C, hacky sack, D, racquetball. Uh, C, hacky sack. C, hacky sack is correct. Your next question. Who voices Wayne the Werewolf in Hotel Transylvania? Steve Buscemi. Correct for two points. In Funny People, Eminem yells at what actor? Uh, Ray Romano. That is correct for two more points. 
your penultimate question. In I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry, when Chuck and Larry get married in Canada, what do they do instead of kissing at the end of the ceremony? Give me multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, start a round of applause. B, give each other top gun high fives. C, slap each other. D, sing to each other. Uh, slap each other. Final answer. That is correct for one point. And your final question in Adam Sandler comedies. At the start of Mr. Deeds, what specific kind of business does Longfellow run? pizzeria that is correct for two points okay uh ja is in the lead 13 to 6 as we get into kelly finn we'll bring in cody it's like we predicted that to happen him getting his strength crazy okay let's see what else the kelly this is your first spin and you land on your strength of animation would you like to keep that or spin again Cody, I might keep it and see how we go because there could be much worse. Like, I don't think. We'll no, get no, I, I agree. I mean, it is, it is going to be strength level and animation. So don't expect much Disney. So work your way around yeah. it, but yep. get us closer to that uh, 13, okay? Okay. <coughs> Stop pulling his choice. So. Okay, Kelly, your first question in animation. In the wild, it is revealed that the wildebeests worship a stuffed version of what kind of animal? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, giraffe, B, panda, C, koala, D, squirrel. Koala? Koala is correct. Uh, your next question in animation. In Paranorman, which of Norman's family members tells him that he must stop the witch's curse? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, grandfather, B, grandmother, C, uncle, D, aunt. His grandmother? That is incorrect, J, for the one-point steal. Your options are A, grandfather, B, grandmother, C, uncle, D, aunt. Oh, I'm stuck between two. Um, his uncle. That is correct for a one-point steal. Your third question. In 1973's Charlotte's Web, what kind of animal is Templeton? Is a rat. That is correct for two points. Good pull. Your penultimate question in animation. In Rugrats Gone Wild, what actor voices Spike, the Rugrats dog? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Bill Murray, B, Samuel L. Jackson, C, Christopher Walken, D, Bruce Willis. A. A is incorrect. J for the one-point steal. Your options are A, Bill Murray, B, Samuel L. Jackson, C, Christopher Walken, D, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis is correct for a one-point steal. And your final question in animation. What animated film features a two-headed dragon named Cornwall and Devon? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Quest for Camelot, B, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, C, Wizards, D, Heavy Metal. Quest for Camelot. That is correct for one point. So I Jay's, thought you had that. Okay, that's a movie. Yeah. <laughs> so Jay's in the lead 15 to Kelly's 10 as we get into round three. Round three is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to get to pick what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four-point question categories they will, they will be able to pick from tonight are animation, comic book movies, Matt Damon, westerns, Oscars, drama, Move release dates and scores and soundtracks. We're going to look at the categories right now, and we will be back. We we will be back to you right now. 
Okay, our competitors have picked what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four point question. Tilly's picked her one in Oscars, her two in movie release dates, her three in animation, and her four in comic book movies, whereas Jay has picked his one in scores and soundtracks, his two in drama, his three in comic book movies, and his four in animation. So, uh, since Kelly's down by five points, we will start with her one pointer in Oscars. For what film did Robin Williams win an Academy Award? Goodwill Hunting. Correct for one point. Son of a bitch stole my line. <laughs> and your two point question. What year saw the release of Say Anything? 1980. Nine. That is correct for two points. Good boy. Good boy. And your three pointer in animation to force Jay to answer some questions. What 80s animated film features a crow named Jeremy, a cat named Dragon, and takes place on Fitzgibbon's farm? Can you repeat the question? What 80s animated film features a crow named Jeremy, a cat named Dragon, and takes place on Fitzgibbon's farm? Four. One more time. Three. Okay. As your second repeat. What animated film features a crow named Jeremy, a cat named Dragon, and takes place on Fitzgibbon's farm? Rocketed or do I got nothing. That is incorrect. We're looking at Secret of Nim. Secret of Nim? Oh, the other guess, the other dumb blues. So, uh, we're in a situation where Kelly must hit her four pointer in comic book movies, or else Jay does win the match via TKO. So, Kelly, your four pointer in comic book movies. At the end of Men in Black, what NBA player is revealed to be an alien? Kareem Abdul Jabbar. That is incorrect. And your winner, by way of technical knockout, uh, the correct answer is Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman, uh, as uh, Agent L puts it, not much of a disguise. So uh, we will be going to post match interviews, starting with our unfortunate second place finisher, Kelly. Uh, Kelly, it just seems like these matches haven't been going your way. I think you, you killed round one. It just seems like things haven't been going your way. How are you feeling? Yeah, very disappointed. Very hungry for a win in Warzone, and it's just not happening, so quite frustrated. Uh, the good news is we have an entire offseason to kind of formulate a plan and maybe get some study guide, yeah. study stuff uh, set up. Um, I just want to be upfront with everybody in this audience. Um, the people that watch Warzone, I appreciate everybody. We have a champ, a champion in this league that's Practically a fucking Benedict Arnold, if I'm going to be honest with you. Kelly, you might not know, or understand that reference, but people in America definitely do. This bastard walks around acting friendly to everybody, but behind the scenes throwing stabs, uh, being rude, disrespectful, threw Kelly completely off, had a five-point lead, just awful gamesmanship. Like, And he claims to be one of her friends. So listen, Jay, you can take the win. You played the great game today, but listen, bar... When you're voting for him later this year or when you're thinking that he's actually a good player, he is not. Shame upon you. Uh, this message was paid by people against Andrew Barr. Uh, we will now go over to uh, Jay, our winner tonight. Uh, Jay, uh, you won your first match in Warzone in a while. How are you in doing? a while. <laughs> uh, I knew Kelly's three. And that was the only one that I knew. And I was so hoping that she would pull Secret of Nim uh, just so she could beat me because I would have fucking just flopped on my one and my two, my three, maybe not, but my four, who knows? Um, this this was a lot of fun. Uh, regardless of what uh, a certain manager may or may not have said about my manager, I am happy that he was here tonight. Uh, Bart, what do you got to say? 
first of all, we love Kelly. We think Kelly is one of the best people in the community. 100%. Um, she like her her cheeriness is just absolutely enlightening um, in this uh, competition. Um, I'm just doing what Cody taught me to do. I'm just using Cody's methods. So it's just I hate to see Kelly lose, but I love to see Cody lose. Those are words. Uh, this was a good match. You know, uh, sometimes questions just go a certain way, but uh, congrats to Jay again for getting that first victory in a while. So we're going to uh, head out. Uh, I'm Caleb Lopeman. Thank you to Kelly. Thank you to Jay. Thank you to Cody. Thank you to Barr. This has been Multiplex Movie War Zone. Bye-bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Thank you, the lake. It would take a miracle. Bye-bye.